Ahoy, fellow Vita comrades, and welcome. Many of you have enjoyed my recent RE3 comparison between PS Vita and 3DS. I also found great pleasure making it, and that's exactly why we are comparing yet another reverse engineer project side by side, and this time it is the REVC. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. First and foremost, quick disclaimer, this comparison is clearly based purely on my personal subjective opinion and it is meant to serve as a celebration of the REVC running on these amazing little handhelds and that lead us to the next important thing and that being dedicating a huge thanks to its creators and other devs that ported it over. Big up for the REVC guys, it is greatly appreciated even though Take 2 might think otherwise, the fanbase response is crystal clear. Two thumbs up and a bunch of hyped up face expressions with elongated smiles from ear to ear. Priceless and picturesque scenery indeed, all cause of you, respect. Now we are running both versions side by side, I've tried to set all the toggles to the exact same values, I'm using vanilla versions of the game and this time I haven't even messed up the brightness and it's all maxed out. So, what you see on the screen is fairly faithful representation of real life results. Again, it proves to be very difficult to dig out any kind of specific information or posts regarding these projects. We all know why, because of the evil called corporate greed. All I could find were some YouTube videos and subreddit posts with comments underneath it. I'm fairly familiar with the PS Vita port, but I was desperately digging for more 3DS port information, because all I found from the creator is this. GTA 3 has reached a certain level of stability, however, consider this to be an alpha work in progress. Vice City is also working, but has more serious bugs. And that means all the findings are from me using the old school human senses. So let's start at the beginning, the loading times. To launch the REVC it takes about 10 seconds for PS Vita and 20 seconds for 3DS. And to start a new game it takes like 15 seconds for PS Vita and like 5 minutes for 3DS. And that is also more than twice as long as for the RE3 on the 3DS. And it is understandable as far less time has been spent working on the REVC than on the RE3. Which was the main focus and it also explains why the cutscenes look and run the way they are, with lower frame rate, worse textures and they are very rough around the edges. Whereas when we look at the PS Vita cutscenes, they are simple pleasure to behold. Yes I know, the frame rate dips here and there, but who cares about the frame rate in the cutscenes anyway? Well, as long as it isn't as bad as on the 3DS, clearly, because then it becomes increasingly more harder to find a joy in it. The cutscenes and loading times are sorted, now to the gameplay. PS Vita gameplay is rock solid, as you can see from the gameplay footage. The only minor nitpick I have is uh, with the radio stations, as there is certainly something weird going on with it. We all have our own experiences, sometimes it takes like half an hour to occur, sometimes it doesn't happen at all. And as it stands right now, no further bug fixes and updates are planned, therefore we gotta find a way to live with it <laughs> for the foreseeable future. And I'm fine with that, as long as I can progress in the storyline and type in my favorite cheat in order to achieve what my heart craves for. And my heart always craves for more blood, cause clearly we are playing GTA and that means we gotta wreak as much havoc as humanly possible in order to reach the true peace of mind. Also guys, if you are enjoying these kind of videos, subscribe, there is more to come. 
All bridges and some roads in the Vice City metropolitan area have been closed because of a severe weather warning. Meteorologists are tracking Hurricane Hermione, which has been estimated at 5 carrying islands and is heading to Vice City. More updates soon. The 3DS port, on the other hand, doesn't suffer from the same radio station buck fate, I guess, yeah, let's leave it like that, but rather, it suffers from its own set of issues that hamper our ultimate state of 3DS troublemaking. As I've mentioned before, there was far less tweaking involved than in the RE3, which ultimately equals to far less optimization and enjoyability, and far more crashes and bugs. I've been also reading, we can't really progress in the storyline as when the situation gets really heated, the game just gives up and shuts down and leaves us with the failed mission and thus it renders our progress impossible. Aside of these problems, the 3DS port doesn't run as bad as it might seem, at least for the first 30 or so minutes, it runs respectably well. You can drive the car throughout the whole city whilst listening to a favorite Fever 105 radio station. You can use cheats to spawn a tank, or to get an access to full artillery of weapons of mass destruction. And you can even measure your endurance in the standoff against the members of the police force. It is all here for you to take, as long as the REVC metaverse doesn't come to a standstill, then you are done. And for me, it usually came after like half an hour, when the lags became unbearable to the point I had to reboot. we learned. We have learned that the OG GTA Vice City is still a masterpiece in 2022 and that it can run even on the 10 year old discontinued handhelds. We have also learned that the Take 2 still haven't learned a lesson as the Vice City has been removed from the Steam. Because they want us to go and get the definitive edition instead, which is fine, don't get me wrong. To buy new games, that's what we do. However, this measure also means that they intentionally force us to refuge to piracy, because where else are we supposed to go and get the OG version from, right? From your ass take to or from the steamunlocked.net? The decision is yours to make. Well, I mean, you already made up your mind, so we all know the answer by now. You're officially endorsing the piracy. Do you even realize this? This step might even earn you back some hearts of pissed off fans that took offense over the lawsuit making that you are spreading across the internet in the last year or two. Nicely done and thoroughly thought through, Zeloschak approves. RE3 still rocks in 2022 on the PS Vita and it still rocks on the 3DS as well. If you haven't got it running by now, what are you waiting for? For Take 2 to reverse their decision? We all know that's not gonna happen, so go and get it now, you won't regret it. As even on the hampered 3DS version, I still had last plane. This part is over. If you enjoyed this video guys, please like, comment, share, subscribe and all the good stuff. It means a lot to me and to the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to check out our Discord server to meet other like-minded people and follow me on socials. All the links are down below. I'd like to thank you all for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.
Tommy! 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 Too long. I know, I know. You just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yet. I guess that's a perspective. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake. But the family looks after its own, okay? That's how the deal go down. You're sitting on some white gold. Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back. And the drugs. And I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you. You're not a fool, but I warn you. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because of you, because we got history. I'm going to let you handle this. Sonny, you got my word. I'm being touched. You got my word. I'm being touched.